Hi, welcome to Ask AD, and this week I want to talk to you about a new kid on the block in the workwear market, and that is Patagonia. Now, Patagonia are making a bold and brave move to venture into the workwear market. You may well know Patagonia for arguably some of the best clothing in the world, used by professional mountain climbers and ramblers. It's trusted by the masses and well known by its distinctive colorful logo. When you trust a brand, you will continue to go back, knowing that you'll get value for money and no fuss when it comes to the fit and functionality and quality of the product. So when I was contacted by Patagonia to tell me they were now entering the workwear market, I was skeptical. I mean, these guys are going up against some titans like Carhartt and Dickies. They're already dominating the market in the US hugely. But would Patagonia have what it takes to enter this market and be successful? To make it in this market, you have to do something different. And purely making a product these days is just not going to cut it. You have to offer the customer something else, something that resonates with them, something that makes them want to engage them enough to buy the product and then come back for more. See, guys that buy workwear are very, very loyal. So if they get a pair of trousers that fits, these guys are builders. They don't want to be thinking about, mm, maybe I'll try something else. Getting someone to actually switch to a new product can be quite difficult. I know this from owning a workwear company for nearly 30 years. Guys are sticklers for the products they like. When a builder buys a product and they're happy with it, they'll just want to order the same thing again. They don't want to be going around shopping for clothes. They're not like, this isn't something they're going to wear at the weekend. They need something that's functional, it's strong, it's got to be comfy right from off so they can put it on and they can literally go and do their work. So when the boots or the trousers or the jacket comes to the end of its life and these guys want to buy another product, they want to just pick up the phone or go online and make sure they order the same product again or a very similar product within that brand, knowing the fit, the functionality, and the quality is gonna meet their expectations. You will no doubt know that the workwear market is dominated by some heavyweight workwear titans. You've got Dickies, Carhartt, dominating the US. In the UK and in Europe, you've got companies like Snickers, Caterpillar, JCB, some huge names like DeWalt, Scruffs, these guys, have a huge following. Each one of them within their own right has their own audience that follows their particular brand. And again, very, very similar. The builders know what they like. They like a brand, they will stick with it. Firstly, I was keen to see the materials that have been used by Patagonia. Having used a fabric forged from hemp, polyester and cotton, the combinations of which I am told offers increased resistance to abrasion of up to 25%. But would it be comfortable enough to wear all day? See, it's a trade-off. If you have something that's extremely strong, is it gonna be flexible? Is it gonna be comfortable? Is it gonna be able to move with your body all day while you're working? So many companies struggle to find this sweet spot. People want something that is gonna last, but also something that's gonna offer freedom of movement all day. If you make something that's too thin, then it's likely to rip. But that's not always true. With new products on the market all the time that are coming out like Kevlar's and Kajora's, these products are offering a thinner, lighter weight, breathable fabric that is lasting longer and longer, giving longevity to the product and giving strength, durability and flexibility. Luckily enough though, the hemp polyester cotton mix that Patagonia are using offers a, a soft and flexible feel. So one thing I do really love about the workwear that Patagonia has produced is the earth tones. So we've got these nice um, khaki, hemp sort of rich color. We've got uh, a, an olive green as well that looks sort of like uh, worn and degraded. Also there's the, the black as well. The black is not a rich black. Again, it, it is a natural, soft, um, worn looking um, color. And also the blue as well is fantastic as well. It's like it's almost like a, a washed petrol. The earth tones suit people working outside so well. It suits people that are groundsmen, gardeners, farmers, anyone that's working outside all day, even builders. But it just 
looks nice, but it also is extremely strong and really, really well constructed, which is what you would expect from a company like Patagonia. Now, Patagonia not only make workwear for guys, they also make them for girls as well. So in there, we've got a nice selection of products from jackets, tops, and also a range of trousers as well, fitted for the lady, and also looking extremely stylish and with a modern look as well. One of the other products I like as well is the Tin Hat Cap. Um, it's made with um, hemp, but also the, the brow is made from used fishing nets, recycled, so adding to the sustainability, the whole product, um, it comes together using natural products, recycled products, and it's just creating that sustainable product range as well. Um, years and years ago, prior to, to many manufacturers of clothing, polyester and cottons, hemp was one of the main sources of fabric that would be used for producing clothing. And so we've gone full circle and now we've come back again to hemp products. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, if you're looking for something that has the sustainability, uses recycled products, uses um, organic natural materials, then for sure you've got to try these products from Patagonia. If you've got any comments, if you'd like to know any more about the workwear that Patagonia are producing, um, then please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to read a little bit more about the individual products, then have a look on my Ask AD website, which is askad.com. And on there, we have a breakdown of some of the most popular products, and we'll be producing more and more reviews of each of these products over a period of time. So keep watching. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video on the new Patagonia workwear. Um, I've left some links to the products below. So please use them, it doesn't cost you anything, and it will help me to continue to create content for you guys. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. For more great reviews, blogs and free stuff, visit askady.com. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And for more videos, click here.